Om Swastiastu. Good afternoon. It's day four of uh, the Bali Spirit Festival number six. I'm Charlie Patton and uh, from the Yoga Barn in Ubud, Bali. And this afternoon I'm with our very own Mr. Punu Wasu. Namaste. Good afternoon, Punu. Good afternoon. How are you, Charlie? <laughs> Good. Thank you. So I'm here with Punu. Punu is, um, is our, our kirtan impresario. Um, he is a master musician. If there's, a, if there's an instrument he doesn't play, it's not known to me. Uh, and he's also one of the, uh, the presenters at this year's festival. So, so tell me, Punu, what number festival is this for you? This is my third Bali Spirit Festival. Okay, and, and you do what here? Well, I'm doing Kirtan, I did Bollywood, I'm doing healings, and uh, I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it here. <laughs> Tell me a little bit because this morning we heard the music from the Bhangra dance. Tell us, tell us what the Bhangra dance is all about. So Bhangra is the uh, traditional North Indian uh, dance, mm -hmm. and uh, I joined up with Serena Jain, who came from New York, and we had such a blast doing the toll and singing and dancing the moves of Bhangra. It's really fun. And is this something that you were trained since you were a young, a young, a young boy? Because I know your father is. Uh, is a master Indian musician. Yes, he's a, he's a master in Kirtan. Uh, initially, I was trained in Kirtan, then Indian classical. Mm -hmm. Then slowly, slowly, I picked up other modalities of uh, Indian music. Mm -hmm. So Bhangra and Bollywood is one of them. And as you see, uh, Punu is Indian. So tell us a little bit about your history and, and what brought you to Bali. Okay, so I was invited in 2009 uh, to sing at a yoga center in Bali. And uh, since then, I fell in love with Bali and moved in 2010 from Philippines. Hmm. And there's so many things to be loved about Bali: the culture, the people, the ceremonies, the prayers every day. Hmm. Yoga Ban, Charlie, <laughs> Megan, <laughs> wonderful people here. Oh my God! This it's is true. <laughs> for those for those of you listening out there who have never been to this magic island, uh, yeah. please do yourself a favor and think about coming to the seventh annual Bali Spirit Festival. Uh, tell me, if you will, just a little bit, Punu, about uh, what this festival means to you. Um, um, You've been participating now three years, and, and how is it unique in the world? Um, I know you've traveled and presented at many, many festivals, but tell us a little bit about uh, the essence of this fellow festival and what what Bali means uh, to you. First of all, I would say Bali itself it's it's a wonderful place, and uh, having a festival in Bali it's like magic. Mm. You know, people are so wonderful, and uh, Bali spirit has been a unique festival around the globally where I've done other festivals. Um, it has been such flexible and so cooperating and uh, many, many wonderful things I've experienced in, in this festival. And, and I, I think one of the best parts about it is you get to drink lots of coconuts and oh, walk yeah. around in bare feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and dance and do yoga and swim in the pool and get magical healings. Tell us a little bit about your sound healing work. So sound healing, um, I've been doing uh, lots in Yoga Ban and uh, in Bali Spirit Festival. It uh, has been not only for the uh, people who come experience, but for us also as performers, it shifts something within us. Something has been very performed. So, so participants come into a setting and kind of lay back, and then you and your team create this ocean of sound to just kind of wash over them. Yes, mm. absolutely. And we are washed with them. Of course. It's like, wow, what was that? <laughs> Mystical transformation. So, yeah. reporting live from the sixth annual Bali Spirit Festival, Charlie Patton with Kunu Wasu. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.